I'm gonna tell you right now, nobody is ready for Jermaine Burton. Nobody is ready for Jermaine Burton. So, one thing you could do, if you have the time, is count how many times Jermaine Burton has dropped a pass in training camp. Because, um, you won't have to count. There's zero. This man catches every living ball that is thrown his way. This pass right here is thrown by Logan Woodside, okay? I'm not talking about Jake Browning, I'm talking about Joe Burrow. We're not talking about even Rocky Lombardi, okay? Who just got drafted to the UFL, shout out to him. We're talking about Logan Woodside, a quarterback who has little to zero in any type of NFL or professional football experience, okay? So, I'm not saying he doesn't throw a good pass. He does. But, you know, there is not going to be the perfect pass possible, right? He still catches this football. And the angle is kind of iffy. Shout out to Mike for posting this, as always. Look at this. Gets behind the defense. Goes up. I mean, I, I listen, okay? One foot off the ground. You might say, that's not a big deal. Come on, man. That's... That, he's a wide receiver in the NFL. First off, the pass was high, okay? But the pass had to be high. Because it had to be thrown over top of two defenders in the back of the end zone. Goes up, gets the feet down. Not only did he catch the ball, because the man catches every freaking thing. Goes up, catches that football, right? One. Two. Two. And slides to make sure he's in bounds. I mean, bro. He catches everything. Like, I just, I'm, I'm trying to think they might want to test him for stick him on his gloves. Because he has caught some in, insane catches so far throughout training camp. Also, Dre Hensing running sprints in the heat. Um, trainer Matt Summers supervising. Again, if you guys did not see, um, Trey did go ahead and pull something the day one of training camp. So it kind of sucks, but he's not 100%. Um, Eric All taking reps in 7 on 7 red zone. Caught a pass from Jake Bounding. First participation in team. So this is the first participation in team. And by the way, all this is done, by the way, with pads. Today's the first day of using pads on for all the players. And. I'd love to see Eric All catch the football, you know. Hopefully we can get him going and get him started. But it's just, I am so excited for this team, man. I am so beyond excited for this squad. It is, this, is, this is one of the best squads, if not the best squad we've ever had. It is insane. Bro, T. Higgins is a different breed. Okay, no timeout. T. Higgins is a different breed. So, he's going against Cam Taylor Brett. And, I mean, dude, Cam Taylor Brett, shout out to him. He is locked in. And, by the way, neither of this is pass interference. This is let the players play. They're fighting back and forth, some hand fighting, whatever. But just the fact that, bro... T like, T gets in his hands, right? But Cam Taylor Brett's like, nah, bro. I'm not giving this one up. So he pushes T, which causes the ball to flick in the air. And T catches the rebound, which would have been, in fact, a touchdown if this was a real game. But, <laughs> yes. First of all, I, you got to love the Cam Taylor Brett just absolute devotion to not giving up on the play. And yeah, I gotta give a huge shout out in this earlier. Uh, who shout out to Mike for posting this always Jungle War podcast. I'll leave a link down below in the description. But um, just got <laughs> bro, T is insane. It's like I don't even know who's more insane on this play, T Higgins or Cam Taylor Brick, because Cam Taylor Brick refused to give up on that. Mike Gesicki one-handed grab from Joe Burrow in pre-11 drills. Okay, let me see. All right, so this, this is a weird angle. Ooh, my man went for it. Look, bro. Odell Beckham has nothing on my man Mike Gesicki. I think Mike, Mike Gesicki so far, 
I was going to say, I don't know who is number one when it comes to the most, like, standout players so far in training camp. There's so many good standout players in training camp so far. My, uh, Jermaine Burton, Mike Kosicki has been going crazy. I know Chase Brown has been going crazy on offense, that is. Um, I mean, it would always be on offense. But I'm saying those three players on offense, on defense so far, um, Dax Hill has been an absolute animal. Obviously, we haven't seen Poison Ivy because he's been hurt, sadly. But Mike Hilton had some good plays so far. Cam Taylor has really good plays. DJ Turner, he's kind of been ups and downs, man. He's been having some good plays, but he's gotten beat on all the plays. Uh, Yoshi was just having his way with DJ Turner. So, which, eh, it happens, man. It happens. But it, it's been so far amazing in training camp to see these guys all right, so what we got here? Working on his Magic Tuesday. BJ Hill and Sheldon Rankin squaring off. Okay. Chris Jenkins versus Zach Carter. Oh, dude. Chris Jenkins is going to absolutely demolish Zach Carter. So this right here, by the way, is Chris Jenkins right here. And this is Zach Carter. So the first video starts off. I didn't look at the numbers. So this is Chris Jenkins. This is Zach Carter. Um... Okay, for, so for this, it's not that big of a deal, but I, I thought that was going to be a little bit more. I don't know why. Whenever I see that type of drill, I always think it's going to be something like a, um, uh, ooh, Oklahoma drill, where you start on your backs, you get up, and then you smash each other. That's kind of what I always think about when I see that type of drill. I always think that that kind of situation, but yeah. Anyway, though, guys, it's a great day. We're going to get some more videos later today talking about this, because... It is the first day with pads, and we are getting started with this year very, very soon. We have literally, what, two days from now, football is back. Um, 11 days from now, 11 days from now, we have Bengals versus Buccaneers preseason game. I will be live for that preseason game, as always. Just go ahead, and, if you want to, stop by, check out the channel. You know, say hi. We're going to be live streaming the whole entire night. So it's going to be crazy. It's going to be insane. I'm going to lose my voice. I'm going to tell you right now, that day after, if I have a voice, I'll be heavily surprised. Because I know it's preseason. I understand. But bro, it's preseason. I get it. But guess what? It doesn't matter. I'm still going to be screaming my head off. And I'm still going to be excited because Logan Woodside is going to be playing most likely. And first off, he throws some good passes, too. The man absolutely throws some good passes. But I want to see Rocky Lombardi. The sad part is we won't see all these quarterbacks. Uh, I, I'm going to guess that Joe plays one series, and it's Jake Browning for, like, probably... I wouldn't expect Jake even plays a half. I mean, Jake, we already know who, what we have with Jake. We're, we'll probably see one side... One series of Jake... I um, mean, of Joe Burrow. One half of Jake Browning. And the second half will probably be third quarter... Logan Woodside, fourth quarter, Rocky Lombardi. That's probably what I would guess we do, but peace out, guys.